After Halloween every year, there are pumpkins that need to be disposed of before they just rot away. And what better way to return them to the earth than blowing them into pieces? We're out on the farm today with a few gourds, firearms, and a special treat, a phantom high-speed camera. This is on loan from a friend who runs the business RentHighSpeed.com. There will be more information and content about this in future videos, but for now, let's get to shooting. We decided to start small, so we're going with 22LR and a fun-sized target. Good to go. Three, two, one. Unsurprisingly, it's not the most dramatic result, but it is interesting that from this angle we can see the bullet spinning wildly out of the back of the pumpkin. So we managed to poke a hole through the pumpkin, but obviously we're going to have to step it up a bit. We can't have this impressive high-speed camera and just use it for that. So next up, we'll be hitting that same pumpkin again with a 9x19mm. 3, 2, 1! That hit a bit off to the left and just skimmed it, but it still looks pretty cool. Of course, we'll have to try that again and go for a direct hit. And, well, we may as well go for a few of them. Three, two, one! The 9mm is leaving bigger holes in the pumpkin, but it still ends up sitting there relatively undisturbed. The follow-up shot just skims the left side again, and the third shot pretty much goes straight through, continuing on into the base of the hill. We'll make sure this little pumpkin is finished off, but we need to move to something a little bit more dramatic. For that, not only do we have a much bigger pumpkin, but we're going to modify it a little bit. We'll cut out and extract a chunk of the side so that we can fill it all the way to the top with water. This will allow our projectiles to transmit a lot more energy into the pumpkin, which will hopefully translate into a lot more damage. And to ensure a good chunking, we'll be stepping up to a cartridge with almost 10 times the power. 50 Beowulf should do quite a number on our target. Three, two, one! Nice! <laughs> Even with an off-center hit, the bullet still transferred a huge amount of energy to the pumpkin and shattered it into big chunks. In the side view from the phantom camera, we can see that the bullet shedded its jacket and pieces of it are mixed in with all of the various pumpkin bits flying through the air. The gun wasn't sighted in well to begin with. When Mike said it was perfect, I was aiming at the dirt. And on top of that, the glass for the red dot fell out after that shot. The glass got blown out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was already broken anyway. <laughs> so we can't really aim that rifle anymore, but we do have one big pumpkin left. We'll pop the lid off and fill it all the way to the top with water. 
And yes, we have one gun that's bigger and putting out more than 10 times the energy of that last one. What else could it be other than the ubiquitous 50 BMG cartridge? All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> God that damn. was amazing. That was yeah. a big movement of pumpkin chunks. One. Clearly, this pumpkin was no match for that round. It is basically gone. There was still a lot of energy in the bullet coming out the back, but it was completely destabilized. On the phantom high speed footage, we can see the pressure wave on the outer skin of the pumpkin right before it bursts. The bullet core exits in a nosedive and jacket fragments splatter out behind it. It really was a treat to be able to play with a professional level high speed camera and I think we did a pretty good job disposing of the pumpkins. At least until next year. I got the pumpkin. They got the spice. <clears throat>